Glass, which is a wearable tech on your face, is a totally different form factor. My favorite part of glass is always having a camera with you. I've always carried like a point and shoot camera, but with glass you can literally film anything you see. It's kind of crazy how convenient it is to have a camera on your face that's always ready to record. All right, what do we call these? Smart glasses, connected glasses, wearable technology. Overall, I consider all of them wearable tech because you can wear them all. But wearables also includes things like fitness trackers, smart watches, and I guess you can consider AirPods wearables too. But for this video, I'm gonna focus on the difference of what I'll call smart glasses and wearable cameras. Smart glasses include some sort of display with interactive software, and in most cases, pretty basic functionality. Smart glasses give you an augmented reality experience, putting software in your field of view while being able to see the real world. The whole point of smart glasses is to deliver distilled information directly to your line of sight, meaning it alleviates the need to reach into your pocket and look down at your phone. Google Glass was perhaps the most famous example of this. It made its debut way back in 2012. It's got a prism, it's got software, it's got voice controls, and a hardware button dedicated to the camera. This was a huge leap forward for wearable tech, and frankly, I think a bit ahead of its time. It took the entire tech press by storm, but ultimately it never went mainstream, likely because of its steep $1,500 price tag for something that had a battery life of about two hours with heavy use. And I just don't think that consumers were ready for it yet. There have been plenty of other smart glasses attempts by other companies like this one right here, Magic Leap, which offers a full spatial computing experience, but you need to be tethered to a CPU in order for it to function. And then there's Focals by a company called North, which does something similar to Google Glass, but in a form factor that's way less cyberpunk and way more traditional. What I wanna focus on though, is this idea of a wearable camera. These are Snapchat spectacles, and I think they're a very interesting piece of tech because they really are somehow in a category of their own. Rather than attempting to pack in features like a heads-up display or transform the way we interact with our devices, these are simply a new form factor for one specific facet of hardware the camera. There's no screen, there's no software, there's no notifications, just the camera. And in the case of Spectacles V3, there's actually two cameras. As we think about the future of tech, it's certainly fun to test out and experience all of these devices. But I believe the biggest leap forward for wearable tech, like Google Glass, needed to be the simplest one. Getting people to use the tech in a way they never have before, without it being too overwhelming. Changing behaviors is one of the most difficult things to do in consumer products, and I think it's another reason why Google Glass didn't take off the way people thought it would. Project Glass, in a way, was like trying to run before walking. Repurposing a mobile software interface and requiring a drastic change to arguably the most recognizable part of you, your face was perhaps just too much in one shot. And that is where the spectacles come in. They're simple, sunglasses with a camera. Think about this, smartwatches were sort of a no-brainer because humans have been wearing wristwatches for over a century. And we're already so used to looking at and interacting with a glass screen. The evolution just seemed natural. How many Apple watches do you see on a regular basis, for example, versus a piece of wearable tech that goes on your face? I think sunglasses or even regular glasses with an embedded video camera is the natural progression for this type of wearable that can actually take off with mainstream consumers. Versus glass, which made you look like a cyborg because of the metal band and protruding camera and prism. People wear sunglasses every day, and they also bring up their phone cameras in front of their eyes to take photos and videos. This has become the norm in the past decade or so. There are a handful of benefits to having a camera that you wear on your face. First of all, it's ready to shoot at all times. Second, it's eye level and quite stable. Your head makes a pretty good gimbal. Then there's the speed aspect. You press the button once and you're instantly recording. No need to reach into your pocket and grab your phone and open it and all that. You're also totally hands-free when using a wearable camera, which allows for some incredible POV footage. You don't have to hold your phone, it's great. I think the glasses as a camera form factor is a smart approach to wearables because we're modifying a behavior most of us already partake in, 
everyone wears sunglasses. And there's basically no learning curve with these. Spectacles are not replacing notifications, introducing new commands, or weird swipe gestures. They're a great all-in-one package, a video camera, and a pretty dope pair of sunglasses. And yes, you do need to use Snapchat to access the footage, but you can export in a variety of aspect ratios, which is great. I think it's a really smart first step in the next evolution of wearable tech. The camera is one of the marquee features in every new flagship smartphone. Putting a camera in a pair of sunglasses, something that you already wear on your face, just makes sense. It is a new form factor for cameras, but both pieces of the tech, the sunglasses and camera part, couldn't be more familiar. My question is, why is Snap, out of all companies, the only one making these? I'm curious to know how much market share traditional camera companies have given up to smartphone manufacturers. Did you know that the most popular camera on Flickr is the iPhone? So I'll turn this over to you. As we continue in 2020, who's going to dominate the next phase of this hardware revolution, specifically wearables for your face? Are smartphone companies going to produce standalone cameras? Will Apple release some sort of wearable headset? Will legacy camera companies like Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Leica make a pair of sunglasses with an embedded video camera? I bet if Instagram made a Stories sunglasses camera, people could be all over them. For now, I'm gonna continue using my Spectacles V3 as my primary pair of sunglasses, but I am definitely ready for the competition. After all, it is 2020 and we are certainly in the future. My name is Sam Sheffer, and if you're new around here, definitely subscribe if you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching.